Good evening, or good afternoon, or good morning, or good night, or good day. Welcome to the Gadgets and Poetry Red Nose Day 2013 Lecture in Rhyme, the greatest cultural event since the last one in 2011. My name is Rob Miles. I'll be giving you a guided tour of the entire proceedings, including video snippets never before seen or perhaps even wanting to be seen. Uh, of the entire event, okay? Uh, this is a University of Hull production, and you can find out more about this uh, wonderful uh, proceedings at www.robmiles.com. Um, even in these august environments, I'm not above a bit of blatant blog plugging, okay? You're going to get the .NET Micro Framework using Visual Studio to build embedded applications, device development with C Sharp, building devices with the Gadgetive framework and a device demonstration. It'll all be done <laughs> in a great light-hearted spirit and completely in rhyme. So the first thing we'll do is get the background looking a little bit more interesting. And the second thing we'll do is change the fonts to make things a little bit nicer as well. And the third thing you'll probably have spotted, the more intelligent among you out there, this is not actually in rhyme at the moment. And one of the things that I do know about a lecture in rhyme is it's supposed to be in rhyme. So, let's see what we can do. The thing that grinds the bits. The development environment where we sit. What we will use to program it. The components that together we fit. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm in the mire. Couldn't think of a word to rhyme with that last bit. Perhaps. You can. So, dot in micro, oh sorry, yeah, that's better. Um, dot in micro framework, I need to have my script in front of me, otherwise it's not going to work. We do the shrinkage, the visual was very large, we had to move them round by barge. Poor oh, framework, sorry. Um, but as time went by, their size did fall, and now we can make them very small. The micro framework's very tiny. But for computing, it's really fine, E. <laughs> That's still okay, we're still good. It's now so small, devices come in sizes that will fit your thumb and other places. Um, <laughs> why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> why did I even think that? How is it small? The reason that the thing um, is small, it doesn't do that much at all. It's like me, the reverse. Um, for operating systems, it has no need. It's a rather simple read. When you turn the power on, that's when your program starts to run. And anything it wants to do, the runtime layer, it turns to. This is proper technical stuff. I'm surprised you aren't taking notes. Oh, it's about the fact it is. That's nice. Thank you. Why are you reading the mail? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't read the mail, at least bring the sun in. Anyway, I digress. Um, the upshot of this kind of plan is a small device that really can run software in a language proper. And it all works, I tell no one. Don't love it, haven't we? We'll be done by that. Oh. Visual Studio. Okay, more funny pictures. O to VS. You ready? Anybody just arrived, take money from that man. You should have a person with a bucket by the door going, ooh, give me money. Uh, so that's scary. I'll tell you. Oh, to be yes. If they end up finding life on Mars, perhaps an alien race with hover cars, one thing I'm sure will be the case. They won't write code in as nice a place as the place where human beings can go. We call it Visual Studio. Shameless Microsoft. And you've got to love that. I mean, that is just... The slides will be on the web. <laughs> Guess where? Oh, Robmiles.com. Yay, Barry. Whenever I say that, you should actually go, yay. So if I go to Robmiles.com, you go, yay. yay. Thank you. Robmiles.com. Yay. That's good. Right, okay, fine. VS is not that lovely to the eye. Unless you like the menu spy, and buttons, yes, it does have many. It's best if you just don't press any. <laughs> but when it comes to writing code, it's worthy of this kind of own. For micro framework, it's so neat. 
The hardware, it is in receipt. The programs you write, it just downloads. And on e square ROM, it stores your codes. When powered up, the programs run to let loose the embedded fun. Okay, right? Keep going, Rob. Right? It's all right. I'm still with you. Anyone want to give me more money? Hey, it's actually. I've got a bag of props. Does anyone want to buy a red nosed a rocket? One idea. 15 million. 15 million. <laughs> Anyway, else, anyway else, it's worth more than a pound just for the plastic. <laughs> One fifty. One fifty. Two pounds. Two pounds. Yeah? You were going to say three, weren't you? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds for the man at the front. So you know we, he'll have one. Two pounds. Two pounds in the back as well, the, the guy with the poor hearing. Two twenty. Two, two twenty. Two pounds and twenty-one pence. <laughs> <laughs> I only forgot that exactly. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds and twenty-one pence going to the man with the overly precise mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anybody need three pounds? Yeah, go at the back, three pounds. And one pence. <laughs> <laughs> Could somebody take him away and savagely beat him, please? <laughs> oh, there's a row, there's a queue for him. Uh, <laughs> Three pounds to the guy at the back. Okay, bring your three pounds down here. We don't have any fun. Get, he doesn't get a good penny more than that, that's not fair. Okay, I think he's got a sniper in front of him on eBay as well. <laughs> get, it, get his money, man, get his money. We're leaving with the cash, okay? The rocket is yours. I may have others. I may not. I'm going to go back to it. It's unique. I printed it myself. Me and my laser printer thing released whatever. <laughs> Back the plot. Okay, so to summarise our little story about an IDE that's full of glory, it gives a place to write and test breakpoints in hardware. That's the best. But if you must cast an S version, it's sad we can't use the latest version <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> Technical note, you can only use VS2010 to write your programs for the micro framework, but they're fixing it, they promise. Bill Gates won't let anyone to do that. Steer off, please stop bothering me. And if it means I'm going to fix this, I may be wrong. Okay, so, C Sharp and Gadgets. Here we go. C Sharp is built on objects. I too can relate. We create them as the subjects of the programs we create. If we want to make a game work, we could use an object called Sprite, the .NET micro framework, hardware objects we could write. That page appeared all in one, that's bad. <laughs> in the program gadget here, you start with a device, and I've forgotten my button. I have a button just like that, but real. <laughs> and I'm not going with me, so I've forgotten my button, so I have to deal with the fact that there's a, there's a massive button shortage in this corner of the world in a minute, but I can rise to button shortage problems. Uh, trust me. There is no need to fear, it's really rather nice. Find the button in the designer really isn't tiring. To make things even finer, it will even do the wiring. So what we've got to break into technical non a bit of non-rhyme? Do you care? Do you want more money? Okay, must rhyme, okay. Uh, this is how it works, people. <laughs> There's the church with the steeple. No. Okay, that's the object that does the bits. Uh, and you can program it if you've got the wits. Um, wits. Um, okay, so that's, that's the code that makes the button go. And uh, once the button you have fitted, the editor we now put on, with the object it is kitted, that represents the button. <laughs> okay. The button is an object with all that it exposes. The programmer can select the behaviour that they chose it. <laughs> <laughs> Written under pressure in a coffee break. And what could go wrong? When the button is pressed, it knows just where to go. It doesn't get all stressed. It just goes and takes a photo. So there you go. 
as event handler, camera.take picture, all good. Okay? So it's a technical kind of stuff. An object is the camera too, added to our design. It takes a picture just for you and captures it just fine. So there we go. Capture. Tell the, cap the camera when you've got a picture, go there. <laughs> the last part is the screen. It is an object too. It receives the bitmap scene and displays it just for you. The bit I've yet to mention, I think I'd really rather, is the ball that runs the program for the whole <coughs> enchilada. <laughs> Is until I actually Googled it, and I hope that's the right one. Anyway, I digress. What you're looking for is that. That's, that is definitely the whole enchilada. This is the entire system and how it fits together. Add some extra sensors, and you could predict the weather and do that too as well. Talking of sensors, here's a few. There you go. These are all non rhyming, but really nice. And you can get air pressure, humidity. Uh, Mains, power going through stuff, accelerometers, GPS, you name it. All very nice, all got wires on. Lovely. Everyone happy? You just come in, take some money from that man <laughs> instantly. How, what we did is put our equipment in that. Okay. The amazing demo! From zero to camera in less time than it takes, or if preferred, done in two shapes. Build hardware and software and meld them together. And just for a prototype, or assembled forever. So you can build a prototype, you can build a real deal, and you can ship them. Okay? Don't see me do it. Yeah. yeah. Even without a button. You've got yeah. two in your code. Pardon? You've got two buttons in your code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, 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 you see, the word button, <laughs> it's, it's overloaded. In the English language. <laughs> I'll, I'll make this a programming thing. So we have the, the object class, then we have button, and then we have electrical button that you can press, which is what I'm missing, and we have tasteful red button on even more tasteful. Take money from those people! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind the test from psychology. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you might not be able to hide in the media. Yeah, they all want to buy tags, they all want to give us money. Uh, they're all nice people. Where was I? Yes, I could use this button, but it will be a fashion crime. And the Jackie's enough is a fashion crime already, you don't have to that. Okay? So, right, let's do this. I'm going to do it because otherwise we'll be able to do quickly. Let's find Visual Studio. Um, VI. So there we go. Now, what I can do, if I could make it right, is, I don't know if I So I go file. I go new project. I go .NET application 4.2. I go that one. So there I am. And then I do, and I get bored for a while, as you are doing. <laughs> and I go off and I drag my bits. Actually, I can, I can see the button. Is it okay if I open the prize? <laughs> it's the prize of the button. <laughs> And so the prize is, is wonderful. Have you all bought tickets? I hope the prize is done. Yeah. There must be a button in here. There's always a button. Life always has a button in it somewhere. If I don't have a button, you can all swim. Ah! <laughs> so, this is my computer sitting on the, on the desktop. Let's have a button. Where's my mouse pointer? Oh, it is. Grab a button, put it there. Grab a camera, premium, put it there. Grab an LCD panel, and uh, the T35, I've heard good things about that one. Put it there. So now I've got all my bits. Can I right click? Can I say, wire it up, please? And it goes bang. And everything now is wired up. So these are all my bits. And um, if I if I was clever, I'd have one here that I kind of would really wind up like this. And, ooh, look! We are. I'll just remove my. So, where does the button go? Anyone tell me? It's going to go into 11. Right. Take my magic button. 
This is exciting. You care. <laughs> Anyone can't do money yet? Do you want to hear a joke? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can it not be in rhyme? Okay. If it's funny, if it's funny, okay, if you can't be added, it's funny, all right, okay. Um, I think I told the first, the first years in, you've heard it before, never mind. This, this bear goes into a bar and says, I'd like a drink of beer, please. And the barman says, why the big paws? And the bear says, I've had these all my life. <laughs> Two zeros, Rob. Do I need to lose your old code, do I? I think so. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do you right. Yeah, okay. There's no prizes for that. Aww. <laughs> uh, oh, you're happy now. So, put it on the top left hand corner. So, I wrote the program now. And what's going to happen is. Absolutely. Hey, Rob. Now the program is compiled. It actually gets pushed down this USB cable that wasn't working half an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> and it gets pushed into here. And this thing now resets and gives me an error. Hello. So it does. Uh, and in a minute or two, it'll actually deploy the device into the phone here. And at that point, I'm in business. I'm not in business, but I'll have to think of some more jokes to tell you. Ooh. No. It's broken. And error is. <laughs> <laughs> should do is put a, was this information helpful to you? <laughs> yes, <also>. Okay, <laughs> that go be Let's put it in a different socket. Oh, yeah. An error has occurred. Please take some of the other Let's use the screen here. Hit run. Right, now, if this works on a huge chair, it doesn't work, well, it's kind of business as usual, really. Well, I succeeded, that's good. Right, so, I'm in business. I can, I can pick up my wonderful camera, you can take it on holiday exactly like this, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I can press this button here, and it will take a picture of the camera and it will appear on the screen. Or not. Okay. Oh, can you hear that noise? That means bad things are happening down in... Uh, okay, so let's try here we go. Oh, that's the time. This doesn't work. No one gets the money back, right? <laughs> Point. Take a picture of my keyboard. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Sad face. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop A bit of work will go on, and I'll just have to live with the fact that one of my demos has died um, in front of a 
really clever and wonderful and super and terrific and warm and giving audience. <laughs> Pass the bucket down again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're trying it the last time. Oh, the main ball will now be strong. Control. Shift. Everything today has gone wrong. Everything today has gone wrong. You think I meant to have this head? <laughs> One last time. And then we can look at this. Uh, okay, so it's all going into program stuff. It's always a good sign. Okay, so get it. I'm going to point the camera at the audience. Wonderful people you all are. Press the button and have a look at the screen. And oh. Okay, still nothing. <laughs> well, the good news is this isn't the prize game. This is the one that. Uh, we can be seen. If you really wanted to get carried away, you put a great point in there. And I can press the button and see what happens. And answer is nothing. So that point is going to be one. Cost life to be sure. I apologise. Only that one. Half power. Okay. <laughs> Gadgeteer Magic, that's not clapping through. Um, gadgeteer Magic, the name of this whole framework, we call it Gadgeteer. It makes the whole ball game work, mostly. Uh, <laughs> gadgets far and near. I had 19 updates this morning. <laughs> 14 plus 5, the universe hates me, but I hate you too. Right, okay. <laughs> the system is all open source. You must give it some respect. You can find it on the web, of course. It looks a complex. Don't you get the framework, download and then use, there's also a platform builder to make, if, to make the board you choose. <coughs> so if gadgets are your passion, and your hardware dreams are many, Gadgeteer will let you fashion devices that can do anything. <laughs> the door of mystery, oh sorry, yeah, the door of mystery, um, let's get that right. Every office should have a door of mystery. It welcomes visitors with a smile. And reads that our FYT. <laughs> the circuit that's inside is powered by Gadgeteer. Some devices we have seen, some are new, like the RFID reader. Okay. This is the final layer of the mystery machine. Blue lines are connections that link things in between. This is the CPU, it has connections many. We can add new sensors if we like, and if we can think of any. This is a tiny camera that we can fit inside. It's been spatially programmed to only capture your good side. <laughs> I don't have a good side, apparently. Uh, the perfect place for radio. Um, <laughs> the SD card holds data, and the pictures that we took. The really juicy ones are here straight onto Facebook. <laughs> I've got them all in there, I'll have a look later. It should be quite hilarious. Last of all, the reader can talk RFID. We've passed on the number of the card that it does see. So now we can unleash the door and let it pick a winner. It should as well be late. late. No, I'm not dinner. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the door of mystery. May I just take my... a number that no one claims will keep on doing it until someone has a number, okay? Is that fair? Amanda's got the numbers of the absent friends. Thank you, Amanda, so you can call those that. Right, fantastic. So, get your cards out, get your tags out. I will be testing the tag afterwards, so anyone that says, mine's 35. Uh, Simon, get your, you've got a list out, Simon. <laughs> get your tags out and rattle them, people. It's what's been for people doing the tag after <laughs> Can you stand up? Come on, look, please, on the door. <laughs> that explains that. Who is this? Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you stand up? So, this is a special RFID card. This is a magical one with a picture of a monkey wearing a fez on it. <laughs> it really has got a picture of a monkey with absolutely good acting. And this has been programmed to ask some advice to pick a random winner. Let's do that. Hold the thing over the door. Wrong one. <laughs> that. Wrong key. <laughs> That's fine again. Can I, put it, can I put it on the big screen? Mm. Yeah, I like you do that. <laughs> Digital OHP. This old bloke turns up. Oh, sorry. I like that guy. It doesn't work. Does it turn on? No. no. Is it a power switch? Yes, to be fair. 
making the noise now. Anyway, while I was doing that, I think the window comes. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The door is missing right. This is the magic card. Right with that, it goes two pounds each. Pick a winner, tag detected, stand back. 97! Anyone got tag 97? Three, two, one. You've got to see. Okay. 90 something. 90 something doesn't count. You're going to have to be a penny. Should we try again? Yes. Right. Should we try again? Yes. And if the guy with tag 97 sees that, warming up. 71. My age. When I'm 71 years old. Anyone got 71? Drink again. <laughs> you got 71? Anyone, anyone care? Earth calling the audience. If you think it might be saying no, bring it here, we'll try it on the machine. If it is the 71, you can get paid for five pounds. Can we try another one? No, 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 please glory. Bring it here then. It's just a tag. Gee, come on. Is he shy? Yes. Is he afraid of asking for money if he comes downstairs? <laughs> 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 right, so tag 71. That's the winner. And if this is tagged, I'm going to give this guy a huge round of applause. <laughs> is, there, like, prox is there proxy tag buying action going on here? <laughs> is, uh, is there a. <laughs> Maybe, okay. It's not 71, but the same. Seventy one. You can't come. You can't catch a tear kick. I'll even give you back the buttons. Not good it did me. <laughs> so right, that's pretty much it. Or in my case, hopefully much it. Um, thank you so much for coming. Feel free to donate any remaining funds on the way out. I'll put the slide. So when you cry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you take it, I'll, I'll bring your friends in a minute. Um, thank you so much for coming. The slides, the final total, and everything will be on the web at www.wattmiles.com. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you for coming. See you next time, because I survived that long.